Now, if a person sees that he's having struggles managing certain things of his life, one of the things that is highly recommended is to get yourself a bio of any tzaddik. Get yourself a bio, you know, the bios, you know, in the business world, they used to read bios of, of famous businessmen, whether it was a Warren Buffett or any of these businessmen. Oh Hashem, after you read a, a bunch of them, you realize it's all the same thing, just different numbers. But when it comes to Am Yisrael, when it comes to the Tzadikim, every one of them is a life changer. Why? They're all completely different. Completely different stories, completely different tests, completely different everything. Every time you read one of them, it's like you connect to this Tzadik, you're like, wow, I feel like I was with him. I feel like I was with him. Going through all of this stuff. One of the tzaddikim said, he went to the doctor one time because he had pain in his leg. So the doctor said, we're sorry, you have a disease in your leg, we have to uh, amputate the leg. This is in the days where amputations were still common. So he says, if this is what it is, this is what it is. We have to rather amputate the leg than amputate than, than kill the whole body. So they amputated the leg. After they finished, the family comes to visit and they see that the doctors are outside of the room arguing. And they overhear the argument. You do it, you do it. No, you do it. You tell them, you tell them. So one of the family members didn't have much manners. Hey, you tell them what? You tell them what? So the doctor is like sweating bullets, doesn't know what to say. He's like eating his own words. We made a mistake. What? We made a mistake. What kind of mistake? He says, when we decided to cut his leg we were looking at the wrong file it was somebody else's leg that was supposed to be cut off but it's too late now so the same guy didn't have much manners he's like a cousin that you never want to see he's like oh I'll tell him he bolts into the audience into the room hey what's up Rabbi he's like recovering he's still got pain it's not like today though you don't feel anything anymore ah oh, okay 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 how's everything listen I don't know if you know if they told you, but uh, you know, it's all things a mistake, right? Like, no, no, nothing, no remorse, no, like, uh, let me give it to him easy. The rabbi says to him, What do you mean it's a mistake? He says, Outside, you heard the argument? That's the doctors. The argument said it's a mistake that they cut the leg with somebody else. No, no, He tells them the whole story I just told you. The rabbi responds to him and he says, My rabbis, they taught me. Everything that you just said is kfirah. Everything you just said is heresy against Hashem. Why? There's no such thing as mistakes. If Akadosh Baruch Hu allowed my leg to be cut off, it was the right thing to do. Maybe they made a mistake, but Akadosh Baruch Hu does not make a mistake. Why? We learned from Agmara Masechet Chuli, page 7b. It says that if a person gets a needle, a prick in his finger. You know, he's sewing something, or she's sewing something. And you know, by mistake, he pricked his little finger. A little blood comes out. Ouch! You know, a little baby, cry a little bit, put a little band-aid on. Tell him to kiss it. Okay, after that, he has to dove on it. Like, why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? Why did Hashem allow this needle to pierce my skin and have some blood? He's actually supposed to much deeper question what's the question not why did this happen only but how long did it take the Bedin and Shemaim to review to analyze to conclude that I deserve this why because before every little prick ha goes into a finger before every little pain that you have in your life actually gets decreed from heaven there's a Bedin and Shemaim 
that has to decide guilty. Let it happen. So the rabbi tells them, before they decreed in Shemaim that I have to lose my leg, you know how much they reviewed? They reviewed my whole life. They reviewed your life. They reviewed his life. They reviewed everybody's life. Why did they review everybody else's life? It's only my leg. Because a Kadosh Baruch Hu has a system of reward and punishment. The reward and punishment is not only on the person that's directly affected, but rather on the people that are indirectly affected. Meaning, when before he cut my leg, he decided, let's see, he deserves it for whatever he did to lose his leg. But what about his wife that's going to suffer also? What about his son that's also going to suffer? He's not going to be able to play with them anymore. What about his uh, wife that's going to have to take care of him? What about the doctors that are going to have to treat him? What about his neighbor? What about his partner? What about his dog? What about his cat? What about everybody else that's going to actually endure this pain? What about his long lost friend that he hasn't seen in 20 years, but it's on the way to town. And he's going to see him for five minutes. When he sees him for those five minutes, he's going to feel bad about it. That his friend from 20 years ago lost a leg. Does he deserve it also? Before they cut my leg, they had to do all of that judgment, all of that analysis. Which means that by the time they decided it, it's impossible for it to be a mistake. The only reason we think there's mistakes in the world, like, oh, it shouldn't happen to me, it can't happen to me, I can't believe it's happening to me, all these types of things that people say, is simply because we have one-dimensional vision. We see things just what's in front of us. There's a wall, we see the wall. We don't see what's behind the wall. Who sees the beginning, middle, and end all at the same time. And the less a person questions Hashem, the easier their life is going to be. Now, the Bet Levi continues, and he says, Hashem has a solution to the problem even when you think it's hopeless. הרב ירון ראובן, הרב אפרים כחלון, ראשי ארגון בעזרת השם, שנסיים לכל השם, שערכו בפעליון, שעלו מעלה מעלה, יהיה להם ברכה והצלחה, הקדוש ברוך הוא ימלא בלשונות ליבם, לטובה ולברכה, שבכל אשר יפנו, ישכילו ויצליחו, ישכילו לעשות כאלה וכאלה, הודיעו תורה לאדירה, אמן ואמן.